Nautiluses have been around for a long time. Like, before the dinosaurs kind of long. They appeared nearly 500 million years ago, and over the course of their history, there have been thousands of species. Today, there are less than 10 species belonging to the Nautilidae family, which is sectioned off into two genera, Nautilus and Allonautilus. Species from the Nautilus genus are the kinds with which you are most likely familiar, because species from the Allonautilus genus, who are referred to as fuzzy nautiluses, are rare and have only been observed living in the wild less than five times. That's as rare as Chester saying no to food. Oh, and there are animals called paper nautiluses, but they aren't true nautiluses, they're octopuses. The name Nautilus is appropriate for these seafaring cephalopods because Nautilus is derived from the Latin word meaning sailor. The way these sailors move about is via jet propulsion thanks to their unique design. Nautilus shells form with chambers. If you were to cut one in half, which we don't recommend since that would hurt the little gal inside, you would see 30 or more compartments. When a Nautilus is born, it has few compartments, and as it grows, it gains more. The squishy, body part of the Nautilus is found in the outermost chamber, while the remaining chambers are filled with a gas and liquid mixture that provide the animal buoyancy. By changing the ratio of gas to liquid within this mixture, Nautiluses can make themselves sink or float. To move, a Nautilus will pull water into the upper part of its shell and then push it back out through a siphon, which is pointed in the direction opposite of where the animal wants to move. That all might sound a little complicated, but they've been doing it for millions of years, so I'd say it's best we don't question it at this point. For as durable as Nautiluses have been throughout history and prehistory, they don't really hold up well in captivity, so we haven't had as much opportunity to study them. They're captured for their beautiful, elaborate shells, which are sold as decoration pieces. But it's believed that their numbers could be declining, so many people frown upon this practice. Nautiluses are gorgeous though, boasting colorful shades of red or orange against creamy whites. They can reach 10 inches in shell diameter, and they have upwards of 90 or more tentacles that can be completely retracted into their shell and hidden under a tough hood. Their tentacles do not have suction cups like those of an octopus, and instead have grooves that help with holding and grabbing food. Nautiluses eat crustaceans as well as fish, and they also scavenge for dead animals. In turn, they are consumed by sea turtles, sharks, octopuses, and sometimes even other nautiluses. In order to avoid predators, nautiluses are mainly nocturnal, and some species participate in a daily migration. When we landlocked mammals think of migration, we likely think of moving on a horizontal plane. But many sea creatures, nautiluses included, migrate on a vertical plane. During the day, nautiluses will sink themselves to as far as 2,000 feet below the ocean's surface and away from light and predators. They can't dive too deep, however, because after a little more than 2,600 feet, their shells will no longer be able to withstand water pressure and may collapse on themselves. At night, they rise up to 300 feet and take their time enjoying their nocturnal feast. They have relatively bad eyesight and likely use smell to find their food, so light isn't really a food-finding factor for these sailors. They hunt and live in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. Nautiluses are born from large eggs that are about 1.5 inches long. The eggs are laid by females who attach them to surfaces. The eggs take about a year to develop before the baby nautilus hatches. Nautiluses take years, sometimes as many as 10 or more, to reach maturity and readiness to mate. This is pretty much opposite of their other cephalopod cousins, who develop rather quickly and typically only reproduce once in their lifetime. And nautiluses break the record when it comes to their life expectancy. Where most cephalopods only live about a year, nautiluses can live to be 20 and possibly older. For more facts on nautiluses, be sure to read through the links in the description. Tell us in the comments what you think of these fascinating sailors. Give a thumbs up for awesome animals, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.